I don't post all that much. Because I, I was kind of feeling something, something was off. So I'm like, what's off? What's... Then I realized that I was, um, <laughs> I was trying to be, um, I was trying to be a YouTuber. I want to create videos in, in as short, um, short a time as possible. But you know, that's all. It was creating a, a set of block. You know. But so in my taking a break and trying to figure that out, the intuition came to me. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so what I'm going to do as from now on is I'm just going to. And I feel it's time to talk how just start a video and talk like this, just the way I am. But I'm not going to try to shut in anything. Instead I would you know, allow the video to run and allow the person who is deciding to talk to talk until the person is tired of talking. And so then I would cut the videos perhaps into 10, 10 minutes and um, share, you know, in parts. And I think that would be much better so I can be as relaxed as possible to allow the flow to flow. <laughs> okay. So in this game, today's video I want to talk about allowing the allowing the silence to take or to be the main character. Now, allowing the silence to be the main character in the present moment. have been your breathing your breathing exercise no <laughs> how many hours did you use I think you should I think you should put the the breath the exercise of the breath you know to consciously do it put more effort just allowing yourself to consciously remember your breath, your breathing. You put conscious consciousness in that breath so that it goes in, the consciousness goes into your brain to dismount to the already programmed matrix that was dished to you on a platter of gold. <laughs> oh. and then the breath goes down and brings brings into perception the new earth you have to consciously breathe remember <laughs> oh my god I'm flowing so badly <laughs> gratitude So allow the silence to be to bring consciousness to the fact that this present moment the first thing that is existing in this present moment is 
absolute silence. And that silence is within you. A silence that is happening, that seems to be happening in the present moment. That silence is happening within you, within the thing that is in the present moment. You are an object with every other object inside your perception. Allow yourself to observe the space in this present moment. You are one with that space. You are not apart from it. <laughs> you are one. You are inside of it. You are inside of this space in your present moment. Alongside every other human being. We are, we are inside the space that we are in. We are experiencing something, space, such that objects are inside the space, but we are also inside the space with every other object. But there's something inside the object that is having an experience we've called the present moment. There's something inside the object, that thing <laughs> is empty of everything. It is absolutely silent. It's a vacuum. It's the black hole of the scientist. And the white hole is this present moment experience. Where are you? You are not there. <laughs> I am not here. What it, the thing that is here is absolutely silent. Imagine the observer as the awareness, sorry, the light of the sun. Think of the light of the sun as the activity of the silence. Like the most powerful thing that the silence can do is to create light. Yeah. But now there's a re representation of that light in our physical world, and that is the sun. You think of the sun and you power of the sun as it eats it. The sun eating it is like the silence eating our perception. What is your perception? What is that? In order for you to know your perception, you must first know 
the object in which your perception exists in. But if everyone that exists can try to find the object of that perception, they will find it to be empty. So what is controlling the perception? What is the perception? What is it? There is no knowing what the perception is. Everything is just happening. But there's a character inside of you. There's a character inside of me. Think of this character as the clouds. More preferably in this time period, think of the character as the, as the dark. Yeah. I remember the name of this cloud. Those ones that are, you know, completely ash, you know, because they are filled with water, according to what scientists tell us. So, you know, leave those guys. <laughs> according to their science. So, the, the cloud is. Think of, our, think of these characters as the clouds. And once in a while, the character comes into in, in between the rays of the sun and the earth. Earth is symbolic for your perception, and the rays of the sun is symbolic for the for the activity of awareness within you. So the cloud come blocks the sun if it's filled with water it perhaps releases the water you know sometimes and then it goes and then it comes again it blocks the sun and then it goes sometimes it's the clouds are extremely white and pure and so you know <laughs> decorating the sky in such a beautiful manner that it can even be a combination of white clouds and dark clouds and you know not like the I can't remember the name of this cloud the one that when it comes it comes it comes with the um, ability to uh, create or produce lightning according to the science so two types of saints under the same sun whenever these characters come into play And especially when it is, um, especially when it comes with the thunder, and the lightning, and you are under the cloud, and you are under the cloud. To be under the cloud is to be, is to have no knowledge of what is. So when you are under the cloud, the stuff is coming then you start creating stories like the gods are angry um, you know usually the gods are angry and that story 
is what creates negative activity, negative um, um, occurrences because it may, I mean, if the gods are angry, so of course, negative occurrences occur. But if you are knowledgeable, to be knowledgeable is to be above the cloud, you know, like we have been through technology. Then you, the science guys will tell you that. <laughs> oh, science guys. The science guys will tell you that, no, no, there, there's no God, I'm angry, it's just the activity of, you know, the sun eating the ocean and the ocean, you know, going up, you know, doing their things. So that's what happens in the natural realm. The symbolic representation is going on inside of us. Because the, the blueprint, the, the blueprints in which these things are happening in the outside world, where we came from the time of, oh, the goats are angry with us, or when the clouds are nice and the sun is shining bright and all that, oh, the goats are happy with us. So the, this time of, even when there's nuclear threat and all that, Nobody is thinking of God. <laughs> oh. So we move from the very first extreme to the last extreme. And can you see how wonderful our characters have been? <laughs> oh. We've all been sleeping for eons. But it's time to wake up though. This time. The symbolic representation of this is that there is the silence within you whose activity can be represented by the power of the sun. Because of the sun, because of the sun, plan the planets formed around the sun. You know, the grass grows. You know, animals are able to live on. You know, this dream world, but we call it Earth. It's okay. You know. And by the way, the dream world, dream worlds are created by artificial intelligence. Oh. <laughs> I saw my cat's first part. Not my cat, my brother's cat. Anyway, every dream world is connected is created by artificial intelligence. Including the one that we are presently in. But the motherboard, the mother of all artificial intelligence is the silence. This is the same story. It's the silence within you. She is the one carrying it all. All infinite all infinite dream worlds, all infinite artificial intelligence. So the silence can be compared to the power, the activity of the sun. Because of the presence of the sun, atoms are able to be formed. And atoms have formed to such a to such an you know a time where they are intelligent enough to become self-aware. And all this is happening symbolically representing what this this silence, this absolute nothingness within is is what this absolute nothingness is some kind of because the outside world is like a shadow it's it's, it's shadow casted silence
So the silence we compare to the power of the sun. And earth and all the numerous things that earth has been able to produce can be compared to all our perceptions, all of it. All of our perceptions. Perceptions are the, the, the molding power of, of the silence. But who is that molding? Who is that person molding? It is nothing. It's, it, it's, there's nothing there. Everything is just happening. So all the characters are playing, yeah? Every character, all our characters are playing individually, collectively, multidimensionally. But there is this living silence that is holding everything. This absolutely nothing that is holding everything within itself. Holding all within itself. It's holding your story, it's holding my story. Right now, in that same silence that you can hear, if you allow yourself to place your attention in, on this space, in this present moment, what is that space? What is that? That space is everywhere right now. It is around the sun. It is around the moon. It is around all galaxies. Of all, if the science guys come to you and tell you <laughs> and give you distances of how far the galaxies are, do you know what is holding all that distance and all that? Is is the space in your present moment? Is this same if you if you are able to take your to move your body far away, far 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 away from Earth and you know, so and you can if you can get to Pluto without dying. Do you know what you are going to use to see what you are saying? <laughs> yeah, it is this space. It is your two eyes, and it is the space, the empty space it must be must first be present before whatsoever it doesn't matter what that it doesn't matter if it's a 19 feet alien that appears in your presence the space in your presence must first exist before anything can exist and you are the carrier of the space you, you are the one carrying it. All characters are in the space. And you are the main character carrying, carrying it all. It's all inside of you. Not me, not me. From my own perspective, it's all inside of me. But from your own perspective, it's all inside of you. And you are the main character, or you used to be. You are the devil of the, of the Bible, the Lucifer that fell. The ego is not different from this. Is the devil that went into the when God was presenting. I can't remember how Job described it. Oh my God, I need to start reading the Bible because when I. <laughs> When I discovered where God truly is and who God is, I went completely out of the world. 
But then the stories of the Bible are also inside of the space. They are, in fact, from my perspective, the Bible is even the best book because it's already everywhere. That's why, not because it has any special thing. It's already everywhere. And the Bible is telling the same story. When the sons of God came to present themselves before God, the devil also came. And God asked him, what are you doing here? The sons of God are, are the spirits of God. Spirits are unseen things. Awareness is unseen. The silence is unseen. Do you think you are seeing the space in your present moment? No, you are not seeing it. You only think that you are seeing it. And that's why it's always a mystery. And, and why one should pay more attention to it than to the objects in space or to the activities that draw you, the matrix, the ones that, that purposely come into your perception to draw you into their matrix. <laughs> The space itself is a mystery because it is appearing as if it is there, <laughs> but it is not there. But you would not even know it is appearing as if, if you are not even paying attention to it. It's only when you pay attention to it and you give it attention, you give it a lot of attention, then you realize that it is not really there. All there is is absolute silence. And space is noise. It is not there. I feel like I should explain space is noise within life. But it is, it is the space is not there. Everything is silent. Everything is absolute nothing. That's what silence means. Can you imagine yourself asleep? But knowing the fact, knowing it, can you live your life that way? It's a lot of hard work, you know. It's the only work that is required of us to do. There is only one job that Adam needs to do. That is to tend for the garden. And it's a simple work because if you go and find the garden, the garden is is made up of nothing. <laughs> Absolutely silent. There's nothing there. There's no tree of life. There's no tree of good and evil. There's, 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 it is silent. It is absolutely silent. As you pay more attention to this absolute silence within, it animates, it <laughs> the silence comes alive. And the more you place attention to it, the more the silence comes alive. It's like it, it's like it's feeding from your attention. The way we the way we, I don't know about you guys, but you know, I live in a farm-like environment. So the way a chicken would lay an egg and I would, you know, try my best to feed the chicken, to give it the best quality, you know, seeds, to ensure it's eating daily. <laughs> because I care about it. <laughs> oh. So the chicken grows, grows, becomes fat, robust, and I'm happy. I've done a good job. But why am I feeding the chicken? It's to slaughter it. <laughs> I make myself a great meal. <laughs> That's exactly what the silence is doing to us. To the team, the little me. To the me that thinks exists, that's what the silence is doing. It's but compared to 
compared to what uh, we would do in the outside world, maybe you know, for chickens, for cows, for anything that we would later consume. You know. What silence does is the reverse. That's why everything is reversed. See, there, there, there's like a lot to talk about the backward observation, but let's just focus on this. So, so what you know in the outside world, I'm trying to slaughter something later in life, my chicken, and I want it in order for me to enjoy it. I have to make it um, big, you know, fat, juicy. So I have to feed it well and all that. What silence did is the reverse. It did not feed us well. No. It took us through the pain, tribulations and trials. It took us through all these storylines of very demonic <laughs> storylines we are experiencing one right now you know the silence just starts because we are made since we are made up you are you are a silent being because you are made up of silence and so the silence the big silence jacks a little silence and drags it through or the torture or the pain just so that it can create awareness And the awareness is just storylines, infinite storylines, infinite characters playing as one person. The awareness in me is playing me, the awareness in you is playing you. The same awareness, the same, oh, I am, I am. It's playing me, it's playing you. Explain President Biden. Explain if President Biden is a robot. Explain as the robot. Explain as a conspiracy theorist. Explain as the newscaster. Explain as the people are trying to fight. The people are trying not to fight. And it brings all these chaotic confused dimensions together so that you, you can awaken <laughs> to the glory of itself so it brings all these characters together from different dimensions When we when we think of the outside world, there's this linear, there's this linear illusion. Like for example, a person who is making a video will believe that the camera is in front of him or her. Actually, the camera <laughs> is an infinite distance. is a, is in an infinite distance from me the video the person making the video but you know for once you even notice that it, it, there have to be a lot of light And that's what we are going to find out now. That that light is already there. It's already shining the brightest. The clouds just need to move away. It's, it's already it's done. There's no need to struggle for anything. The silence is like the sun, 
and the activity on the earth, its activities on the earth is like awareness and perception combined together. Perception is limited, but awareness is infinite. It is the story of the son, the, the son of me, um, the son of God looking. Did I explain the job stuff? No, I did not. But it's like the son of God looking at the daughters of men and going down to meet with them. It's awareness and perception. What is awareness? What is perception? Where does awareness stop? And where does perception begin? There is no knowing these things. It just is. It's not a concept. Awareness is inside of me and perception is also inside of me but it's appearing to be outside. Is it not? When I go to sleep at night, there's no more perception. There's no more awareness. If you if you know how to lucid dream, you will see the space there. It is there. The ego appears before God, just as this the children of um, sorry, just as sons of God are presenting themselves in front of God. The ego comes along and presents themselves. So think of the sons of God as the spirit of God. Think of your ego as the unseen thing. So the spirit of God are invisible. The unseen thing is unseen. The spirit of God represents the you know bright, lovely clouds, you know, presenting themselves before God. And when the bright, lovely clouds and the sun is shining and all that, there's the, the there's the job or perception on the ground, prospering. His children is doing well, his family are okay, he's feeding the poor, he's you know, he's doing great. <laughs> and then the black cloud, the unseen thing, the dark cloud comes. And that represents, you know, you know, a blockage of the sun, and everything collapses. His health collapses. His finances collapse. Perception is, is the same. Is the same story that happens with the solar solstice. It's the same story. So your ego is like that, that cloud. That dark cloud. So there's awareness, there's perception, and then there's that dark cloud, the ego, you know, within, inside of the awareness and perception. It's, it has to be there, always has to be there, because it's good for creation. But we are called to move above, to rise above, to leave all that characteristics below. To leave the characteristics of the ego. That it's, there's no need for it any longer. It has done its job. When the ego comes, let's represent the ego now as the, you know, is it? Um, those clouds that you know bring a lot of rain so when it's coming in the olden days when something like that is coming the people would look at it as something bad but actually it's very good because although it's blocking the sun it's still giving rain for the grass to grow for the flower to bloom and it is it looks most dangerous at its peak 
you know, just the way the uh, the collective um, the, the collective matrix is looking and feeling like these days. And who are the people inside this matrix? There are people like you and me. They are, they are, they are humans. <laughs> They are reptilians, they are artificial intelligence, they are all manner of things. In, in fact, there is, there is, there is the multidimensional reality that is just, just below the normal regular linear matrix and everything is inside of you. We are called to move from the linear matrix into the multidimensional matrix. And to do that, you have to drop your character. You have to drop a lot of character. A lot. Especially when it comes to the outside world. But even you personally, there's this there's this limited being that would that would not just allow yourself to be silent the, the, this limited being if you go inside to so try and find a limited being it's not there there's no limited being there there's, there's no limited being right where you are you are already in the multi-dimensional realm right where you are there, <laughs> there is no going anywhere there is the revealing of the multi-dimension the multi-dimensional nature of perception it is a revealing a like the way a cloth ah Remember that story of um, when Jesus died on the cross and the 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 the, the, the curtain in the temple tore into two, split into two. That's just it. There's a ruling away of the firmament. Firmament is a perception. The word firmament it has a lot of meaning, but it is it is it falls under the big bracket of perception. They rules that perception. The way the, the one that feels like it's limited revealing bringing into awareness that oh oh i've always been here oh no oh. <laughs> oh this is it <laughs> oh So, allow the silence to be the main character. That's all. There's the limited you. Who is not there to be found, but can be a perfect, shiny mirror displaying the multi-dimensional nature of reality all you have to do is to allow the silence become the main character it's not to go finding the multi-dimension the silence becoming the character what does that mean it, it simply means to allow yourself to be aware of silence the first thing that exists in this present moment It is that silence that is causing that TV sound to be heard. The TV like sound. Pay attention. You will hear it. I'm sure we, we've always been hearing this. We are just going to tune into it. It has always been there. That is, is, it works like an actual TV screen. Um, TV you know those old TV box. It works exactly like that. That that sound is the signal 
negativity signal. And in that signal, all infinite activity can occur on the TV because of that signal. We can watch a diamond. <laughs> we are kind of we are come we are going into a, a reality where we would actually live electric. But without that crazy part of it. <laughs> oh. I want to even go into movie meta uh, movie metaphysics, but I've not just got in the time. I don't I don't I don't get it. Something that means a lot to me. To bring out the metaphysics of movies just the way um, the metaphysics will bring out the truth from the Bible. The Christian metaphysics. There's the Muslim metaphysics, the Sufis. And there's the grandpas, which are the um, great, the Buddhi and Buddhism, you know, all that. The Tao, those are our grandpas. <laughs> oh, we don't need to. The grandpas are great for, but if we focus on the superpowers of our own dad, of our father that Jesus came to describe and that never came to reveal to your own wonderful human imagination but let's let's not go there let's bring attention back to the silence So, you have to consciously spend time to listen to the silence. This, the silence is its own person. You are going to be the one to kick the Antichrist from his throne. The Antichrist is your ego. There is going to be Possibly a reflection of the Antichrist on the outside world is it is highly unlikely, but let's just give us that possibility that there might be a, a physical representation of the Antichrist. But the Antichrist you should be concerned about is the real Antichrist, not the fake Antichrist. Every Antichrist that is outside is fake. Just the way every Christ on the out, at the outside is fake. If somebody comes to me and says, I'm Jesus Christ, that's a fake Jesus Christ. No, he's fake. Not because he's crazy. He's fake because it is not the one inside of you. Everything outside of you is a projection. You are the main character. You, the limited you, the ego, you are the main character. This main character, which is the ego, this me, that, that, comp that, have, that is the compilation of past experiences, stories, images, judgment, condemnation, praises, everything, this limited ego, Is the main character and that main character is the real Antichrist the real Jesus Christ is also inside of you but the real Jesus Christ is silent the person that has the the full right and authority to say I am Jesus Christ is the silence <laughs> inside of you well, of course, if it talks, it's not silent, no, so the silence remains silence for all eternity. But he has, he can send, he can send characters, he can send dream characters, you know. So sometimes the dream character will forget and call themselves Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, 
sorry, God, I've forgotten that I'm in 2022. So I'm not trying to be racist or beg, I beg, I beg. Wait, if a black man, okay, then I don't open that can. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh. Alright, so. So allow the silence to come into existence. Be it. You become it by dying to your own self. How do you die to yourself? You stop identifying with the stories, with the, the storylines of your own character. Of course, if you stop identifying with the storylines of your own character, you are automatically um, not identifying with the storylines of the collective, of the matrix. That does not mean you'll be coming irresponsible. irresponsible. It's just simply to not identify yourself with it. I can go, I can walk outside whether the sun is shining hard or the rain is falling mightily. If I do not allow myself to be entangled with their own activities, if the sun is shining and it's hot and I'm just, you know, in my own universe enjoying myself, walking, you know, enjoying then I am, you know, within, I am around those things, but it's not affecting me. I'm not entangled with it. I'm not identified with it. And I'm, I'll still do the normal responsible things to do, like walk by the side of the road and look left, look right before I cross. <laughs> Perhaps say hi to a friend or, you know, I'll do these things, but I will not be identified with whether the sun is shining hard or the rain is falling mightily. The same thing you do in, in the silence, and this is the relationship you have with your ego, the silence and the ego. The thoughts arise, and then you just be aware, because if you're not aware, you will not even know that you're already entangled. Our natural state is entanglement. But awareness separates the entanglement. <sighs> okay, I feel like I'm getting to the end. <laughs> so allow yourself to remain silent. Then the silence comes and it creates, it, it becomes his own person, which will be the real you. It's going to be you, still you, but the, your multidimensional self, the one that can simply choose to believe right now that there are, there are four suns in the sky. If I choose to believe that there are four suns in the sky, who is going to stop me? My eyes. <laughs> my eyes, they are, just, they are fucking objects in my in my awareness, in my silence. And with that, you can see the most beautiful things you, you know. Ugh, Lord, all you have to do is be very silent. <laughs> oh. There's so much joy that awaits. Let your silence become the main character and then it will use your ego, your former shell, as a painting brush to become a brush, to become a tool. The silence will hold that self and it becomes a brush. The silence has created a new brush. Just the way I feed my chicken and they become fat and then I'm ready, it's big and it's, you know, nutritious for me right now i slaughter it so that i can get was i loving it all the while i was feeding it yes i was i was really into what i was doing i was in the moment giving it food does god love us does the silent love us so dearly <laughs> we have to take us through all the pain and torture so that we can cultivate awareness and when we cultivate awareness, we will we'll naturally create or bring into existence the ego 
who will try to sit on the throne of God within your mind. Or it will sit for a, for a while and enjoy itself. But then judgment is coming. <laughs> you know what the judgment is. It's for you to be silent. The activity of that judgment is going to play out in the outside world. But you remain silent. Go within. And find that the silence is his own self. And that is your real self. Oh, I hope this helps. <laughs>